Hi, I'm Austin Berenson. And I'm Melissa Peters. And today we're going to go over our accumulator contracts. So we're going to start with, uh, we've got a slide presentation put together here for you. Uh, it's got a lot of really good information in it. The accumulator contract is probably one of the most complex ones that we offer. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started here. It's a, it's a great forward contracting tool for you to, for you to utilize um, on future bushels. Uh, typically the further out you go, the higher premium you'll be looking at. Yep. And how some of these levels are achieved is we work with a firm who um, will, will trade futures and options and they'll actively manage their position to get these levels. Uh, there's a variety of accumulators for different market types, which is nice because uh, there's a good, a lot of flexible options as far as what your risk tolerance is as a producer, um, which type you're comfortable with. We've got, we've got more options basically than what we're going to cover today, so uh, don't be afraid to get in touch with us if this is something you're interested in. Yep, and these contracts are targeted for anywhere from from 10 to 20 percent of your anticipated production and uh, one of the biggest things is finding the right accumulator for your operation and, and also fitting the right accumulator for the right market type that we're in. So different times of the season and, and just different times of the year um, some accumulators are more attractive than others. And uh, one of the biggest keys to an accumulator contract is probably the added premium that you gain uh, typically uh, any accumulator that you would look at uh, writing or doing with us has a 40 to 60 to sometimes 70 percent premium to what futures are actually trading at. Um, so it's a really nice way for you to start pricing some bushels at a level higher than what you can actually lock cash for in at a lot of places. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and walk through one of these options. So this accumulator is called an accumulator with a weekly double up and this contract is based off the November 19 futures. It is targeted for bushels that you'll be bringing in for new crop of fall of 2019. So we're using a 5,000 bushel sign up as an example in this in these slides and the start date is December 14th, 2018 and the end date is October 25th, 2019 and the pricing day is each Friday. Um, and we're gonna be pricing bushels every single week for 46 weeks. So 5,000 bushel divided by 46 equates to 108 bushels per week. Um, and then we're gonna walk through kind of the different things that can happen in this contract. Uh, one of the other things I'd like to point out is we do not charge anything to do these contracts. Um, that's definitely a benefit to you as a producer to not have to pay any high cost to participate in a, in a contract like this. Yep, so here we're starting out and uh, this is just a graph of the November 19 board price. And remember all these levels are future levels. So um, to get a cash price, we'll need, to, we'll need to add basis in there. So to get this contract traded, we need a board price of 957 November 19 futures. And once we do that, again, there's 46 weeks in this, in this program and we're pricing roughly 108 bushels a week. We end up pricing these bushels at 1006 accumulation level for every single week that we stay in between these two, two levels. So, if we are below 1006 futures and if we're above 898 futures, we're going to be pricing at 1006. So you're getting roughly a 49 cent premium in this example. Um, yep, and now we'll walk through some, some different examples. So say the market stays flat this whole entire summer up until um, October 25th of 2019. So, so we don't go above 1006 and we do not go below 898. We don't even touch 898. What ends up happening here is we're gonna price all 5,000 bushels that you signed up at 1006, future price. Minus basis on October 25th. Uh, this particular scenario, as you can see, you still got your 1006 accumulation level and your 898 knockout level. 
Um, this particular example, the market trades for a little while in between your range here. Um, down here sometime at the end of May, beginning of June, it goes below your knockout level. Um, when that particular um, instance occurs, the contract is done on this particular accumulator. So the only bushels that you sold are the ones that sold up to that point, which is where the, the 2,507 comes in. Yep. So you got 24 weeks priced in. Yep. And then here's an example of if the market goes higher than the 1006. So through weeks one through 25, we're inside the range. So we're still pricing at 1006. And then on week weeks 26 through 46, we end up being above 1006. So now instead of pricing 108 bushels a week, we're pricing two times that amount. So we're pricing roughly 216 bushels a week. And uh, we, we might be up here at like 1010 futures or 1020, but we're still getting this top level of 1006. So the final result in this example is we end up pricing 7,303 bushels at 1006 future level. Now the, the big thing to remember with these accumulators is once you select the accumulation level that you're in at, that's where you're trading all your trades that point going forward at. So it doesn't matter if the market's down here at like at you know nine, you're still in at 1006. And then to Austin's point, when you're above this, you're not gaining you know the 1020 or whatever it may be at, you're still in at 1006 minus basis on October 25th. So then in this example, this is another situation where the market goes up and then it actually ends up coming back down. So in weeks one through six, 15, we're inside the range and we're pricing 108 bushel a week at 10.06. During this span where we're above 10.06, we're pricing two times the amount of bushels again. So we're roughly two, 218 bushels per week at 10.06. And then when we come back down, we start pricing 108 bushels again. So, so whenever we're inside the range, we're pricing one times the, the amount of bushels. And whenever we're above 10.06, we're pricing two times the amount of the bushels. So what happens here is we end up at the end date having 6,649 bushel priced at 1006 futures. Uh, this particular example, um, same scenario here, we start out, we're trading within the range. Um, so you're pricing your 108 bushels a week at the 1006. Um, down here, the you go below the knockout level. Once again, this particular accumulator, once you get knocked out of the contract, you're done. Um, so even though the market comes back above into trading level, after that, it doesn't matter. Um, when you went below this initially, you got knocked out of the contract. So the only bushels that priced are what priced from, from this point to here, which was 2,071 bushels at the 10.06. All right, so this corn accumulator, it's the same contract. It's a producer accumulator with weekly double up. And the future month that it's referenced is December 19 futures. Um, and so the start date is December 14th of 2018 and the end date is November 22nd of 2019. So there's 50 weeks in this program and uh, we're using 5,000 bushel as an example sign up. Again, the pricing date is Friday and uh, we're selling bushels every single week. Um, and so we're doing 5,000 divided by 50. So you're selling 100 bushel per week. Again, here's just an example of this one. You know, you've got your range here at the 422. So you're selling your bushels at 422 minus basis on November 22nd, as long as market's trading between 373 and 422. Um, works the same way as the soybean one does that, um, you know, if, it, if it's above the green line, you're doubling bushels for that week. If it falls below the red line, uh, you're knocked out of the contract and the only bushels that would price on it are what priced up to that point. Yep, and some other reasons why these are kind of a good forward contracting tool is uh, so the, the options that are being traded to achieve, achieve these levels, they have 
um, a lot of time value in them so that gives them higher premiums the further you do them out and another nice thing is, is these typically fit when the market's range bound so like that for example the Dece 19 board isn't near as volatile as like these nearby months so like if the nearby months move five cents the, the Dece 19 board might be only three cents so it's more likely to stay inside that range for a longer period of time Yep, and we've got a lot of different options. Like we said, um, you don't have to just do new crop 19 bushels uh, corner beans. We can we can look at July 19, July 2020, March 2020. We've got all kinds of options, and and like we said, a variety of different different accumulators to fit to best fit your operation and your comfort level. So, yep, and we do send out indications every single day. So if you would like to be receive quotes um, in the morning, just let us know and, and we can get you signed up on that list. So, but yeah, that covers it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to, to one of us, Mike Rosenberg, or uh, any of your CFE location managers. Thank you for your time.